Monsieur le Comte. Monsieur le Comte, are you there? The prisoners, they're suffering. Promised, I have interceded on your behalf. The king has named you Gouverneur de la Bastille. Do you realize what an honor this is? Put an end to this sinister farce, Monsieur le Comte. Order your machines to unhand me at once. Ah! Listen to my voice, mon ami. Nothing but my voice.
The death sentences delivered by court order are nothing more than cowardly murders. Barbaric crimes committed legally in the name of the entire nation. These cruel laws are the doing of the tyrants who rule us. They are the chains they have always used to oppress the human race. And that, mes amis, is why the death penalty must be abolished. Well said.
Grace, I am your most faithful servant. Monsieur, listen to me. But I can no longer do what you ask of me. Listen to me, Bosson. Kill, kill, and kill again. What do you mean? Of what crimes do you accuse yourself? The heads must roll. They must roll straight into the pit. Cela suffit. Who are you, monsieur? Uh, who am I? Oh, I am Charles-Henri Sanson, executor of court rulings. The executioner of Paris? The executioner? Oh, no. Not anymore. That death factory. We had to lead the horde of the tortured victims there and hand them over to killers who are far more efficient and skilled than us. When I tried to give up my position, the king and the count offered me a new role. Greffier at the Bastille. An easy job. And I fell into their trap. Oh. But now that I think about it, they must be the ones who sent you. They want my head. You're rambling. I am Aegis, their worst enemy. Come to rescue Monsieur de Vaucanson. Oh, His Majesty's honored guest. The man for whom our good king reserves his most ruthless treatment. No one deserves to be punished like that. Here, take this key. Monsieur de Vaucanson's cell is downstairs. And do not delay. He is dying, madame. He's dying. Monsieur Sanson. Madame, why haven't you gone to Monsieur de Vaucanson yet? What's keeping you? Monsieur Sanson. Madame. Why have... That was at a night, mon enfant. <coughs> oh, mon Dieu, they did it. They did it. They've turned my sweet daughter into a cold machine. It's all right. Stay calm. Well, Ludia, what has Cagliostro told you? Has he sent you to put me out of my misery? No. I'm going to get you out of here. Let me help you. There's no point. I'm burning with fever. And I'm already short of breath. Death lurks around every corner in this prison. I, I couldn't escape it. I... I'm not long for this world. No, you can't. 
Outside, your automats are slaughtering men, women, and children. What you have done, monsieur, only you can undo. What I have done, the miracles I performed, the wonders I gave to this kingdom, it was nothing but vanity. I closed my eyes to it for so long. Mesmer, Cagliostro, souls snatched from their eternal rest like water from a well. I should have set fire to the workshop. I should have melted my creations. <laughs> it's not too late to stop the massacre. I don't have the strength. You must... <coughs> Speak, monsieur. Say something awful. You must stop them. The king and his loathsome henchman, Cagliostro, the master of the machines. He gives them their orders. He must be silenced at all costs. <coughs> Take my hand. I am not your father. No more than you are, Atenais. You're but the vessel that contains what is left of her broken soul. <laughs> Lydia, I don't want to die without hope. In the name of what is left of her in you. In the name of her love for you. I beg you to free her from the purgatory our enemies have confined her to. I will grant your wish, monsieur. Do you realize what that means? Are you ready to make that sacrifice? The ultimate sacrifice. <laughs> I shall never see her darling face again. Much petite. You must set her free. Bring her back into the light. The light. The... Monsieur. Monsieur.
lost your mind! Oh, son, my daughter, will you never listen? This machine belongs to the king now, Vulusave. There's nothing I can do about it. Did he also order you to torture her? The king wants me to make some improvements. And you obey him just like that? That's enough, Atenais. Let me work. And from now on, I forbid you from coming in here without my permission. Oh, you're no better than your master, Papa! Use this boat to reach the Seine. As soon as I am on dry land, I shall return to the Cordelier convent. I am sure they are waiting for me with bated breath. Citoyen, I come bearing sad tidings. Monsieur de Vaucanson has passed away. I was present for his last breath in his cell at the Bastille. Juste ciel, requiescat in pace. Mon Dieu, it is a cruel fate that has taken my dearest friend from me today. Eugène, ce pauvre Eugène, I cannot suffer such a horrible injustice. Was he at least able to tell you something before he passed away? No. Nothing. How unfortunate. We are lost. Must we resign ourselves to this disastrous turn of events? No, General. Every part of me refuses to do so. Eugène de Vaucanson made me make a promise that I swore to keep. Now I have no other choice than to risk everything. What are you thinking, Aegis? I'm thinking of making my way to Versailles. Eh bien, you should know that I also plan to go there. You... don't even think about it, ma foi. What have we got to lose? Our lives? At this point, you must admit that they're not worth much. I agree with the Marquis' resolution. We must take into account everything that Aegis has done to foil the King's plans. The time has come for us to put ourselves at her service. Not so fast, mon ami. Let's not rush into anything. You'd have to be mad to want to be part of the battle to come. Those who agree to take part in this strike will need to keep a low profile until Aegis has cleared the way. As for you, madame, I do not know what new arrangements have been made since my last visit to the Queen, but I found the area around the North Wing to be particularly empty. Here is where you should launch the attack. If fortune is in my favor, I shall be waiting for you at the Petit Trianon with something to help you make your way through the gardens. As for us, once the Automats have been defeated, we will enter the palace to seize the king and the count. Is that your plan, Monsieur le Marquis? It is, Monsieur. We are about to take the small step that separates audacity from madness. Are you ready to take it, Madame? Citoyen, I cannot escape my obligations. It is in my very nature to honor them. I kept the promise I made to the Queen to find Monsieur de Vaucanson. I am now bound by the oath I swore before my Creator. If I go to Versailles, it is in the hope of rescuing Atenaeus. I think also of all that remains to be done in Paris. And what's more, you demand my help to make you masters of the king. It is a heavy burden that we place on your shoulders. But once again, we must leave it up to you. Take your time, Aegis. A hasty decision could lead to disaster. We will be ready for action when the time comes. Pour la nation, et pour le royaume!
Citoyen Lavoisier. What can I do for you? Goodbye, Citoyen, and down with despotism. Did you find the blueprints that were still? No, Citoyen. Be Don't forget that those documents are our only chance. To the looters disappeared into the tunnels. I find it hard to believe that they. Regarding Ludia's... Were you able to get them? No, Citoyen B. Don't forget that those documents... The looters disappeared into the... T I find it hard to believe... Citoyen Robespierre. Madame. As for the lantern... Did Monsieur de la Clos tell you the secret of his expl... No. We did... That's a pity. Without his... Let's see. I know he's close to Monsieur Marat, the patriotic journalist. He's currently in hiding in the quarries of Montmartre, but please do not breathe a word of this to the Marquis de Lafayette. Those two are at Dagger's Dr It would certainly end in a bloodbath. Were you present when the... Oui, madame. I had a front row seat. I we laid bare before the king the abject mid... So he had the people's representatives dispersed. At least we only had to contend with soldiers positively angelic compared to them. Goodbye, sir. And death. Citoyen Mirabeau. What does this letter... Who gave you the right to read my correspondence? I'm curious about how you got rid of it earlier. To tell you the truth, you... it is a missive sent by my father, the Marquis. He writes to say that he is on the brink of this reprobate, used his final moments on... How is that possible? To my knowledge, he has not yet deigned to shuffle off this mortal corpse. This man is more persistent than the plague. He has spent his entire life persecuted. I need to know... Where is he now? At his home in Argenteuil. But the man who heard his final confession... Monsignor de la Fave. Precisely. Only this confounded shaveling refuses to tell me a word of what the he stubbornly insists. Also, will we ever be rid of the... <sighs> Ages. Would you be... Citoyen Raymond. Can I help you? Goodbye, sit and may li Monseigneur. What can I do? Monseigneur. I would like to talk. What has gotten into all of you? This is. I will say it one last time and pray that they. Nothing and no one will make me. Have I made myself clear? Perfectly clear. Can I help you, Aegis? I hope so, Abbot. I am listening. Citoyen Mirabeau. Alas, the bishops... Damn it. I need to know. Let me think. In light of the cartload of threats he sent me, they may even have already suffered his rift. However, my sister lives in guard. Unless a messenger rode a hundred horses to... Then there is my poor... M if you ask me. Yes, yes, it's very kind of you to offer. Your own mother? Indeed. It's a very embarrassing... I can be discreet. Very well. You should know that my mother, the Countess of Cove, has lost... Everything. No matter what I tried, nothing could prevent. It is said that she is now living on charity. If perchance your past takes you to this dreadful place, and if she still re
come to me, my dear. You're not like the others, are you? You gave them quite a beating. Madame. Why didn't you come sooner, my chère? They marched all day on the... They were very brave then. Then what happened? As far as I know, shouting. None of the... So no. My son. But he hasn't given any sign of life. Take comfort, madame. He has found a safe haven where he is not... And will stay there until it's... Praise be to God. Here. For your trouble. Thank you again, my chère. Thank you again. Officer was spared. Lafayette didn't hand over his army to the king. I should keep looking around Place Dauphine.
There's no point trying to force it. This lock requires a four-letter password. I should follow Capitan Lefebvre's footsteps. He and his men withdrew to the Société des Amis de Noir. They must have gone towards the Châtelet. I doubt they survived their retreat. There's no point trying to force it. This lock requires a four-letter password. I should follow Capitan Lefebvre's footsteps. He and his men withdrew to the Société des Amis de Noir. They must have gone towards the Châtelet. I doubt they survived their retreat. There's no point trying to force it. This lock requires a four-letter password. I should follow Capitan Lefebvre's footsteps. He and his men withdrew to the Société des Amis de Noir. 